I think it's time we blow this scene. Get everybody in the stuff together. Okay, three, two, one, let's jam. On today's episode of Women Are Actually Directed Black Clover, episode 102, Two Miracles. Now I bet you woke up today in a joyous mood. It's Tuesday, it's Black Clover Day. Only to see that today is a recap episode. Frustrated by this and already knowing a ton about Black Clover, you decide to skip today's episode. Well, you shouldn't have. At least the last couple minutes. Anyways, last we left off, Austin, you know, versus Licked. We're gonna have to chalk that one up to a loss. The elves turn their hideout into a giant ship and head towards the royal capital. And after what's left of the royal knights, we group, they head out after them. Now on their path to the world capital, they just happen to pass by Hajj Village. Seeing the flying fortress inspires one magic knight turn elf to start attacking the villagers, but luckily Asta and Yuno are there to save the day, or at least try to. Now today's flashback is seen through the eyes of the orphanage, mostly Sister Lily, as she reminisces about the letters sent from Asta and Yuno about their adventures once they become magic knights. We definitely see some highlighted moments. Of course, our battle with Veto, uh, episode 16 against Ladros. We see the meeting of the Wizard King and what it takes to be the Wizard King, you know, results, as well as the Star Festival, and even Seke has made an appearance. Now, once the trail down memory lane has taken its course, we get back to the action. It looks like the father of the church is a little worse for wear. He has got hit with a heavy dose of poison that's gone past being just a simple magic spell. It's actually affecting his body to where the Demon Slayer Sword has no effect. Seeing he is unable to help as well as Steel being determined to rescue the father. We see Asta in an influx of emotion, cry out, and in doing so, summons his newest sword. Yes, the sword he stole from Lick. And upon touching it, we get some pretty interesting flashes, as well as he automatically goes into Black Asta form. Speaking of those flashes, they're actually comprised of several images. Now, the first one is Licked holding Tetia. Now, this is a pivotal image we should all know by now. This is during the massacre at their wedding ceremony. Now, the next image is one I haven't seen before. It looks to be the Wizard King in a shocked, almost sweaty type of panicked expression, which leads me to believe is he witnessing what is going down at this onslaught. Now, the next image is an image we've seen before again through the eyes of Hotry. As he's dying, we see Licked summon some kind of red and black kind of spell. Uh, the next image is a sad one. It looks to be Tetia's face stained with blood. And here we go. The following image is that of a five leaf clover followed quickly by that of the demon we see in the intro to this series which i've had a theory before that actually the spell we see is not the beginning of the reincarnation spell but actually he summoned a demon which transformed his book from a four leaf clover to a five leaf clover followed by a photo of licked bloodstained and his eyes are like bloodshot and altered and they look i would say the best word to describe it is demonic all in all ending with an image where i really can't depict what it is. It looks like a giant eyeball with some kind of design around it. And we see maybe a mouth for a second. I really wasn't able to capture that. It's interesting though that this sword, as soon as Asta touches it, has some kind of memory still left over about the aftermath of what went down. Not to mention the demon, the five leaf clover, wizard king Tetia. I mean, just everything has been building to this. They're starting to unravel the mystery between the demon, Eye of the Midnight Sun, Licked, Elves, Wizard King, just all this stuff is coming to fruition and finally, and honestly, if you skipped today's episode, you would have missed, you know, a good bit of information. Now, while today's episode is a recap, I'm definitely glad I did not skip it. These images are very interesting to me, as well as seeing Asta take control of his new sword, you know, the memories between him and the father. All in all, it wasn't a bad recap episode. Plus, we know from previous instances that usually what follows a recap episode is a singular badass episode. Hopefully, they are taking this break, this opportunity, to really push it when it comes to the art and animation because from what I hear, the next several episodes are super badass. So with that being said, I cannot wait for future episodes.